It was an ordinary day for this man until he came upon an unusual sight. A baby moose had found its way to his front door and it had collapsed there. It seemed injured and exhausted, and even though the man had no idea what to do, he still decided to help. The last thing he could have imagined was that his efforts wouldn't go unnoticed and he would be rewarded in a very unexpected way. Welcome to Wonderbot Animals. Noah Smith lived a quiet and very comfortable life in the countryside, away from the hustle and bustle of the city. One day, when he returned home from a walk in the forest, he was met with something he had never seen before. There was a baby moose at his front door, and it looked in bad shape. Noah was completely stunned because moose cubs usually stay with their mothers and keep their distance from humans. The man slowly approached the baby moose, worrying that his mother was nearby. However, after taking in his surroundings, he realized that the cub was alone. The moose was a newborn and could not have been more than two weeks old. It looked completely helpless, and Noah assumed he was abandoned by his mother. One thing was for certain. The baby moose needed help, and Noah was not going to abandon him. When the man took a better look at the moose, the animal had some injuries, so it seemed like he had escaped from hunters. He was covered in dirt, and his fur was infested with flies, not to mention he was exhausted. The next thing Noah did was pick up the baby moose and take it inside. However, Noah had no idea how to care for a baby moose. Even so, he knew he had to do something. So, he started by asking for help. Noah thought someone in his friend group would know what to do. However, when he shared the story, his friends weren't as sympathetic as he was. They advised him to leave the animal alone and let nature run its course. Someone also said it was illegal to have a moose at home. But Noah was determined to help, so the next thing he did was call animal services. However, animal services was overwhelmed that day and they said they would be able to send someone the next day. In the meantime, he had to take care of the moose himself. Now, Noah had a goal. All he had to do was keep the animal alive until the next day and do his best to help him. The baby moose looked starving, so Noah got him some milk and leaves. Fortunately, the animal responded well, and he started eating. Noah also set up a little nook for the baby moose to rest until the morning. As you can imagine, the man had trouble sleeping that night. He was too anxious about the animal to sleep peacefully, and he couldn't wait until animal services arrived to help the baby moose. But when animal services finally came, they gave Noah some bad news. Before we continue, consider liking this video to help it reach 10K likes and subscribe to the channel. In the end, animal services wouldn't be able to help. Noah was shocked and he couldn't believe that he lacked humanity. The only thing they told him was that he should call local hunters because they would know how to take care of the moose. Noah couldn't believe his ears, but he had no intention of following their advice. At this point, Noah felt responsible for the animal. He begged them to take the baby moose and help him, but they refused. They only told him he could do what he wanted and he had permission to care for the animal if that was his wish. Noah named the baby moose Emma because it was female and he started the difficult process of taking care of her. Caring for a wild animal is a challenge, but caring for an injured wild animal is a whole other deal. Nursing and feeding Emma was the biggest hurdle every day, but Noah was committed to taking care of the baby moose. As the days went by, Emma felt more and more comfortable around Noah, even though she was afraid of everything else. It was clear that they were developing a strong bond. Emma's arrival into his life had been a stressful surprise, but seeing her making progress made Noah very happy. However, he knew that she belonged in the wilderness, and eventually, the moose would have to return to the forest. That would take a while, though, because Emma was terrified of the forest. Every time Noah tried to take her there so she could become familiar with the woods again, Emma would become petrified. Little by little, with Noah's help, she overcame that fear. As long as Noah was there, she felt comfortable in the woods, and she started flourishing in that environment. 
One day, she went into the forest on her own, and Noah couldn't have been prouder. Emma continued making progress, and some days she would spend the entire day in the forest, returning home at dusk. Noah was happy she was enjoying the wilderness again, but he was still a little worried. He also missed her during the day, as any owner would miss their pet. Eventually, as Emma spent more and more time in the forest, Noah accepted that he had to let the moose go. She was no longer a baby, and she was strong enough to fend for herself. However, Emma kept returning home, no matter how much time she spent in the forest. Noah never stopped worrying about her, though, because she had grown into a healthy, beautiful moose. That means that hunters would be more interested in her, so he started thinking about a plan to protect her. Eventually, he decided to try something simple. He would call the local hunters and invite them to his home so they could meet Emma in person and hear her story. Noah hoped that they would understand the bond that they had and see her as more than moose meat. When the hunters arrived, Noah was understandably nervous and he feared how things would go. However, when the hunters arrived, heard Noah's story and met Emma, they spoke the words that he was expecting. They promised they wouldn't harm Emma. Finally, Noah could now rest easy, knowing that his precious Emma would be safe alone in the forest. But what he didn't know was that there was big news just around the corner. One day, a different group of hunters knocked on Noah's door. They explained that they had heard his story and were so moved that they would no longer pursue Emma. They even told him that they would stop hunting wild elk in the forest. Hearing about the special bond between the man and the moose really struck a chord with them and they wanted to assure him no one would hurt Emma. It was such a kind gesture, Noah was speechless. Not only had he saved Emma's life, but he had also made a difference for the wild elk in his area. After some time, he realized something strange about Emma. It seemed like she was pregnant. Noah couldn't believe how quickly she had grown and he was excited to welcome new members to their family. Watching Emma get into motherhood was very emotional for Noah. He had found her dying at his door and it was crazy to think he had a hand in how her life had turned out. Since meeting Emma, Noah felt fulfilled in life and he found the kind of happiness he hadn't thought it was possible for him. Yes, he changed Emma's life when he fought for her and did everything he could to help but she also saved his life. This story is one of the most inspiring stories about a bond between a human and a wild animal. So, when word spread, it was not shocking to learn that another man in the area chose compassion as well when he found a wounded wild animal. John lived at the top of Yellowstone National Park, which is home to hundreds of species of wildlife, including bears, wolves, and antelope. John was used to seeing animals up close, but one day he saw something unusual. He was taking a nature walk when he saw a family of deer crossing the forest. But there was an injured fawn, and he had been left behind by his family. Remembering Noah's story, John decided to do the right thing and take the helpless fawn home to care for it. That's why it's so important to share stories like this. You never know who they could reach or how they could help change someone's mind about animals, especially wild animals. What do you think of this story? Do you know any similar ones? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like the video, share it, and subscribe for more. Until the next one.